Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We're also celebrating in the church the World Mission Sunday. And the focus particular for this year is Timor Leste. So I ask you to keep the mission of the church in all ways possible in your thoughts and prayers uh, during this Mass and beyond. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost heart. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whom he has taken by his right hand to subdue nations before him and strip the loins of kings, to force gateways before him that their gates be closed no more. It is for the sake of my servant Jacob, of Israel, my chosen one, that I have called you by your name, conferring a title, though you do not know me, I am the Lord, unrivaled. There is no other God besides me. Though you do not know me, I arm you that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun that apart from me, all is nothing. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. marvelous deeds to all the nations his marvelous deeds 
First letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always mention you in our prayers and thank God for you all, and constantly remember before God our Father how you have shown your faith in action worked for love, and persevered through hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers, that God loves you, and you have been chosen, because when we brought the good news to you, it came to you not only as words, but as power and as the Holy Spirit and as utter conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine on the world like bright stars. You are offering it the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap Jesus in what he said. And they sent their disciples to him, together with the Herodians, to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man and teach the way of God in an honest way and that you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you. Tell us your opinion then. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus was aware of their malice and replied, You hypocrites, why do you set this trap for me? Let me see the money you pay the tax with. They handed him a denarius, and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they replied. He then said to them, Very well, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just a bit of background for you. The Pharisees and the Herodians were enemies of each other. They were competitors, political competitors, and here they are, they unite to trap Jesus. So I've got three points for you. First of all, the hypocrisy that we're going to encounter when we're trying to live the gospel faithfully. Secondly, that we should expect people to question us as well, and thirdly, a word about our social duties. So first of all, the hypocrisy. The Pharisees and the Herodians, as I mentioned, were enemies of each other. They didn't just unite on this occasion. You might recall they also united at the trial of Jesus. 
And, you know, they, they became friends, even though they were enemies. I forget which gospel it is. It might be St. Luke. But although they were enemies, they united over the broken body of Jesus. And you should expect this hypocrisy, too, in our own age. We see enemies of each other uniting and becoming allies in order to treat the enemy of Christ or, or Christ as their enemy. So the church, basically. So don't be surprised if you experience this. Now, notice what they say to try and get an in with Christ. We know that you're an honest man and teach the way of God in an honest way. Our Lord doesn't deny it because it's absolutely true. But, you see, people will sometimes try to do the same to you, to flatter you, to knock your guard down, so to speak, in order to expose you and exploit you. And this is the hypocrisy of the enemies of Christ, and we shouldn't be surprised that we're going to encounter this ourselves at times. So that's the first thing. Secondly, to know that a whole lot of other aspects we can expect hypocrisy to come our way. And it's because the enemies of Christ are ultimately, we're talking about spiritual forces here. St. Paul calls them the principalities and the, and, and the powers and so forth, right? And the virtues. So they're demonic powers ultimately. And we know that they also have us in their line of fire, and they'll use human agents, human beings, in order to do this. Thirdly, a word on our social duties. Again, the aim is to trap Christ on this occasion. Now, why, why do they want to give him an either-or situation? Because if Jesus says, yes, you should pay your taxes, and that's it, then it means that you are not a friend of the Jewish people because we are an occupied country. And you're saying we should pay taxes to the Romans who are occupying us. So on the other hand, if you say, no, we shouldn't, you'd actually be agreeing with us all, but we'll report you to the authorities and hand you over. And so many of our Lord's answers are both and, not either or. This is often a Catholic response. So yes, we should give to Caesar what Caesar's, give to God what is God's. But taxes, yes, sometimes they seem unjust, but we should pay our taxes because we need to pull our own weight in society. And all of these are part of living our faithfulness to Christ, where it's not one or the other, it's both and. Let us stand now to profess our faith, the faith of the Church. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God, who is mighty, has called each of us by name. With confidence, let us bring our prayer before the Lord of all. That Pope Francis, first missionary of the church, and for all missionaries and martyrs who give their lives to tell the glory of the Lord among the nations, that they may be loving, wise, and holy witnesses of Christ. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in missionary charity to the Timorese people, facing socio-economic challenges, that our spiritual and financial sacrifices may help them to continue their journey to building a better future for themselves and to know the love of our Lord. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are nearing their life's end will be given assurance, consolation, and peace in their last days on earth. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Father most holy, there is no other besides you. 
hear the prayers of your people and help us to be transformed by the standard of the gospel in every sphere of our lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons, you form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Oh. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness 
of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Brian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Be with, you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Cath News, your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascourt. Thank you for your generous support for Mass for You at Home. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry. May God continue to bless us all as we seek to follow Him. <laughs> 